In this video, you are going to learn how to write formulas in a spreadsheet in the most simplest sense. This can get very complex, but it can also be very, very simple. So just as an example, if you look at this spreadsheet, I have columns H, um, which indicate the uniform fee for the student in that extracurricular activity, and a participation fee. Let's say I wanted to know the total of those two fees. I could write a formula for that because it's simply the cost of their uniform plus their cost of their participation. So there are four operators that you can use, and these are the basic operators, for writing a formula. And that's the plus sign, minus, uh, division, which you use the slash key, for division, which is on the same key as your question mark, or multiplication. And for that, you use the star key, which is on the same key as the, the number eight. So shift eight gives you the star. So when you write a formula in a cell, you are going to always start with typing in equals. So if I type equals in there, then that tells this cell that it is not going to the, um, at that point, we're going to write a formula versus writing some text that you want to have in there. So in this case, I want to add up the cell that is the uniform fee. So that is H and then 2. So H2, the row is 2, the column is H. So if I click on that, I get H2. And then I'm going to type in the operator. In this case, I put the plus sign. And then I click on my other cell which is actually going to be I. See, it's in column I, row two, if you go all the way over there. So that is a simple formula. Now, if you want to get that formula to take, you press the return key on your keyboard. So notice if I select that cell, the text in there is 185, but that is because what I entered was a formula. And you can go up to your formula bar right here, F of X, and you can see how I wrote that formula. Now, wouldn't it be a pain if I had to then go do that formula for every cell down below it? So I wouldn't want to say equal sign and then click on this cell, click the plus sign, click on this cell, press return. I don't want to do that for every cell, but spreadsheets have an awesome function um, where, or the awesome ability where you can copy and paste a formula. So if you see, if I hover over the lower right hand corner of this cell that I've selected, there's a little box there. If I click and drag that box down, it applies that particular formula to every cell below it. And it's smart enough to know that when you get to this cell right here, you want to be looking at uh, the fourth row. See the fours in there? Row four. Whereas in the cell above, you're looking at the third row. So it's smart enough to make that change for every subsequent row below it. Cool. I want to give you another example. Here is a cell where I want to um, I want to compute the payment per month, and let's say this is going to be over a six months period. So this is the total amount due over six equal payments. So to write that formula again, you always start with the equal sign, and then I'm going to want to take whatever this number is, which is column J, row two. And then I want to divide that by the number six, because I want to do this in six equal payments. So to finish a formula, what do you always do? You hit the return key. So that would be the cost in six equal payments. Now keep in mind that these are all, um, they show up as dollar signs. That's probably because I highlighted the column before I started here. I went to my formatting toolbar and I hit my format as a currency or you, you can format a number of other ways if you go under format number and you have all these options. So again, how do I copy and paste that to all the cells below? I select my formula and I click on the box in the lower right hand corner and I can copy and paste it down as far as I would want to go.